Hello everybody, my name is Dead Pixels, and welcome to a sort of mini-series that I plan on doing, where we will be making a kit PvP, which is something that you can download probably when I'm done. So, let's get started. I guess what I'm going to start to do is make a, uh, like just four or five different classes, I think. And what I will do is make like, I guess three arenas that you can fight in. So the first one, I guess we could do... I, I plan on just doing knight, archer, ranger, well, no, ranger, archer, same, same thing, same thing. Uh, knight, archer, scout, mage, and probably something else. If you guys want to see a, a certain class, leave it in the comments and I'll probably add it depending on how creative it is or just if we are that out of ideas. <coughs> so right here I'm sort of building a central hub spawn thing. Um, so as you can see we're in a blank world. There is nothing but what we are going to create in this. Uh, if you want to do this, you can go into your super flat presets, get rid of everything in the customization, and uh, just make it air. And then you can set a block by doing slash set block slash set block and then the coordinates and then whatever you want to do. So I'll just do planks and then you can start building off of that. So now we kind of have a sort of basis down we can start adding the classes. The first one, blue wool, will be the knight. And we'll get a sign. Now, one thing that I used to try to avoid doing was the use of command blocks. Now, uh, I was gone for a while on vacation, and I developed quite a bit of skill with command blocks, and or at least what I think to be quite a bit of skill. I'm not up there with the better YouTubers like that, but I have enough knowledge to create what I plan on doing. So, knight, and then just balanced fighting with no ranged weapons. I'll probably change that later. Uh, I plan on doing some sort of special ability in the near future. So if you've ever used command blocks, you insert JavaScript or JSON, I believe, uh, text, and you're able to create a um, sort of script that Minecraft can run within it. So clear at p. So if you were to ex execute this command right now, so slash clear at p, and at p is a selector meaning the nearest player, so me, uh, that would clear my inventory. So effect at p speed zero. So what that'll do is get rid of speed and clear their inventory if they've selected another class because the scout or ninja is going to have speed. Bottom one, I might add a heavy class, so I'm going to do effect at p slowness zero. Next, what we want to do is kind of give them their what makes them the knight. So, give at p iron sword. What I did right there was I'm um, telling them to give them a knight sword or an iron sword named knight sword using the display in the name tag. Uh, now right there, I was going to give them an apple, which I guess I could do, or I could give them saturation. But saturation's a bit buggy, so I'll just give them. 16 apples. And I apologize if I am avoiding the commentating part of this. Uh, it's There's not really anything I can state rather than just me going over what command is, but then later on we can get into some uh, a, a bit more commentating in the sense that I'll be able to do things besides commands. So, Another thing that I didn't mention yet was JSON and JavaScript are very case sensitive, so if I had something capital like this at like the P, that wouldn't work. That would It would refuse to take the what I gave it. Uh. <coughs> so 
So that pretty much sums up the knight class. The last thing I want to do is leave room for a special ability. So I will do that right now. Right here for now. That courts to speed like special ability. And then a sort of finishing text to say that you've selected a knight. Now the only thing the only problem with this is because it's activated through button press, if somebody was right here, like trying to get their ranger class which will probably be right here, then somebody wants to stand right here, they'll probably end up getting the like the ranger stuff because of distance, it's just the nearest player. And you could fix that with pressure plates and just dispensers, but this is just an infinite supply of items. So right here right here I'm doing a Telra, which is uh, sort of just, it's like s the say command, but it's a bit more sophisticated that you can add colors and different breaks of text, and it doesn't have that little uh, at symbol at the beginning. So you have select, selected the Right here, the extra tag is just like adding another row of uh, text. It's almost, if you can imagine, a break in the script. And then I'm adding one more extra to say the word class. Alright, so now we can test that out. Hopefully, all the syntax is correct. And I'm just going to this out so I don't lose it when I clear my inventory. Yep, so it says you have selected the knight class, and it gives me what I told a command box to do. So that's pretty cool, but it's boring if there's only one. So next, I will do the ranger class, which I will probably put three blocks away. I'm just going to call it Ranger for now, but that just essentially is the Archer style, so... Um, ranged fighter with weaker mage and armor. So, as that kind of summed up, the Ranger will not have the more effective armor or melee, but it'll have the ranged advantage on the other players. And that's just what I would consider to be balancing. But one thing I do want to do is... I'm just going to use the 8. Uh, give it jump boost. So, just the increased mobility aspect. <coughs> so, effect... And then it's probably one. Well, technically that's two, and I'm not even sure how you get one. If you know in the comments. Oh, something went wrong with my mic. Sorry about that. Um, effect at the speed zero. Clear at the. So now this is sort of just the similar uh, similar aspect of what I did before. Uh, just declaring what I want to give them and what I don't want to give them in terms of effects and just inventory management. So first thing is obviously to give them a bow. Not 11. I don't want to give this an infinity, but I also kind of do. I'm going to give it punch, which I believe is ID 49. Yeah, I'll do that. Now I'm going to test that. I'll just probably throw this on the ground. I don't want to have to put that in the chest. Okay, so that is punch. That's good. And then I have jump boost. Now... Apple 16. Now, 
one thing I want to do with the stone swords and any other things that are weaker than that, so, like, I'll probably give the ninja a golden sword. I want to give them... not... no. Um, I want to give it unbreaking. Probably just ten. Uh, and I'll just call that ranger's sword for now. Probably give it something cooler later. Probably, like... Uh, misforged sword or something. I, I don't know. I'm not the best coming up with names, so. This will have chainmail as their armor. So I'm going to copy that and then just input it as I feel fit. And then, again, that presses the ability of, or the, the matter of having an, a special ability. So I will just leave that here and then leave a note. That doesn't look right, but whatever. Okay, and then similarly to what it did over here. I can just copy and paste this and change the word knight to ranger and then make it green. Okay, and then we can test that out. <coughs> Okay, so you've selected the ranger class. Oh, arrows! That would be helpful for something that would have a bow. And I will give it two stacks of arrows, so limiting the number of arrows it has, but not to the point where it would... Uh, they would run out easily. I'll clear my inventory right now, but... There we go. The ranger class. And then this has unbreaking 10. Oh, has punch 1. And if we try that out... Okay, and then I will do the final class for this segment, which will be the ninja. Now the ninja will have increased mobility, but limited amounts of damage dealt. So it'll have speed, jump boost, but not as much damage. So quick, agile. class with little armor and small or er, and weak melee. And then I kind of whenever I think of ninjas I sort of think of purple. I don't know why, but we fill this in. Now I probably will, like I said before, have more classes and I'd love to hear your suggestions of what you'd like to see. So we have covered a lot in this so far, just in terms of class-wise stuff. So, effect at P speed. So again, just the declaration of the effects. Give at. Now this is one of the cases where I need to have a ridiculous amount of unbreaking, because it's a golden sword. Now this doesn't make it unbreakable, but it makes it so it is quite durable. I'm going to call it the... Uh, I'll just call it the ninja. I'll call it the katana just because that sounds cooler. So, again, the 16 apples. And they will have golden armor.
and they will have no uh, helmet. Well, yeah, no helmet. That'll, that'll work. And then, again, the pressing abilities of having a special ability, I, I still will probably add those later. Uh, but I will add teams to do so. And that's just adding scoreboard objectives. So, going back to the Telra over here. Now I do not. Oh, I know that's. Now the thing with uh, JSON is there's not, or at least in this, there isn't every color. There are only a few. So, like, I was. The orange is not existent in JSON, at least in Minecraft. So, we can test these out now. Our knight. You have selected the knight class, and then they get full iron armor with an iron sword and apple. Ranger, quite a bit of things. Um, sword, bow, arrows, chain armor, and then, then our ninja. I'm most excited about this class because of the speed of it all, and their unbreaking sword. So that about sums up this episode. Uh, if I get enough community input, I will probably add some sort of credits in another area of the map. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the